United Against Cancer. Thank you for sharing some parts of your journey with us. Um, it's very heartbreaking when you see the impact that cancer can have on patients. And you need to work with the community to truly understand that. I love the way you call each and every one of them your friend, your, you know, for right from the age of 16. Uh, that's understandable since you have lived with your stepson who had this problem as well. Uh, but still not everybody that has been directly impacted like that is able to go into it uh, the way you have done. So once more, congratulations to the Max Foundation, the work that you're doing. Uh, you're currently working in over 74 countries, delivering about 20 drugs, uh, different drugs, I believe. And so um, you manage a network of about 500 physicians. I have it written down here, 500 physicians and 200 medical institutions to deliver life-saving treatments. I manage maybe... 20 people <laughs> and I have gray hair here there and everywhere so uh, how do you manage that network of course we have IT now that is very helpful but it's it's still not it's not everywhere that has access to great IT systems how do you manage that fast network and keep a track of all this life-saving you know, medicines and devices that you're helping people to access all over the world? You know, we have uh, been doing this for more than 20 years. And um, one of the things we did at the beginning was uh, we created our own software. It's a patient tracking system. So we we track, we, this uh, is a web-based application and these physicians that are part of our network, they can uh, sign into this system and uh, we assign, you know, each, we have the, the information of each individual patient, who is their physician, what dose are they receiving? Uh, and so the system is very smart and help us on uh, not losing track of all the patients but you know the the so 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 the systems are very important and we have a, we have worked really hard because we understand and the bandwidth of the internet in many hospitals so you know we have a physician app and they they can uh, submit information when they're not online and then when they come online you know it all comes through so we've done a lot to overcome technical challenges, but you know the most important thing. Um, and and last year, in totality, uh, of all the partners we had that work with us, uh, we had nine hundred and thirty six partners that are part of this. And the, the important thing is that every person is dedicated in a way that. Um, you know, we couldn't do it without them. Everybody is a volunteer. All these physicians volunteer their time. Uh, and they just are so dedicated to our program because I think we have built a, a relationship of trust. And because yeah. we are giving them the tools they need to treat their patients, they are so dedicated to making sure this program works. We ask a lot from physicians in our program. We ask a lot, a lot of information. You can imagine we have to ask them for inventory reports and dispensation logs and yeah. all sorts of things, all sorts of things. But I think everybody does it because it's such a unique opportunity. I think that I, I haven't been able to really convey to the world what it means for physicians, and you probably know you can convey better than I can what it means to have the tools to treat your patients and see them survive. 
And uh, I think the, so. So I think that is what makes the program successful. Well, thank you uh, again. But it's it's you can never really know until you're wearing the shoes and you understand what the issues are. And in your case, you're you're wearing it from another end. You might not have been the oncologist, but you know the value of those drugs. You know how to get it. Access is the greatest problem that we have. And understanding that, I read something you wrote, I can't remember the full quote, but you said, the bucket is never full. There's always a hole. And there's so it's sort of what you described now. Initially, it was uh, access, getting it there, the cost, and then you do it, and then it's sustainability. How do we, so, so they, there's always a hole in the bucket and it's always so, that's, that's, really, that's really important. But um, you also mentioned the fact that uh, there, are, there are issues which uh, you, you might not understand, but despite that, you've received so many awards globally, huge uh, numbers of awards that we couldn't, we couldn't really keep track with. So how does it, how do you think such awards impact your mission and how does it help you to go further? I know that you are, you are always on a fundraising drive. You're always on a partnership drive and it's been successful. And it's really amazing when the, your work is recognized and you're rewarded for it. So tell us about the, the nice reward side for the Max Foundation team and for Pat. <laughs> Thank you. It's always of course, nice to be recognized for our work. But I have to tell you, I feel a very strong responsibility to be the voice of the unheard and the forgotten. So I, I am I'm very aware of the opportunity that I have and the opportunity that these awards give me to make sure the world sees this people, these individuals, these families that are desperate for help. Uh, so I think that that is the most important way in which these awards help. Uh, of course, it helps to show that we're serious in the work that we do. And as you said, you know, there's so much more that needs to be done. So we need uh, to continue to bring in new partners and to bring in more resources so we can help more people. And you know this recognition really helps in in doing that. But my my life responsibility is that the world will hear them and see them and not think that they're not important. That, that the lives of every person we can help because there is so much that we cannot do. There's so much out of our control. And you know I'm an advocate. As advocates, as you are, as mm -hmm. advocates, sometimes we can think we can achieve anything. And, you know, cancer is very tricky and difficult. And we are not God. We are not God. We have to remember. We do everything we can, but there are things out of our control that we cannot save everyone and... That is the reality. But we have a responsibility to do everything we can and prevent unnecessary suffering. And I think this is a beacon of hope for the world. Even if it's a small, it's a beacon of hope that we can show that together, if we put our energy together, we can have um, so many more people. So I, I appreciate very much these recognitions um, that help us making sure that people living with cancer in uh, Africa and other regions are not forgotten. And we deeply, deeply appreciate it. We appreciate your time. Uh, I know that you will work with us some more. We haven't spoken about the specific countries that you're working, but I do know that you have a lot on the African continent and uh, the impact that it's making. So I really thank you for your time, Pat. Yeah, if you have any more last words to say, now is the time. Uh, I know you give these interviews every day, but you will continue to give them. The more you do, the more you are amplifying the work that you do. And then, of course, 
encouraging others. It's so important that we encourage the smaller foundations that are now all over the place and let them see the good example and the good story and that it can really be done, not just the civil society foundations, but even governments and you know access programs that are cropping up all over the place now. Every major association has an access program now. And uh, the best example everybody comes up with is the Max Foundation. The use of digital, yeah, it's, all, it's always Max, Max, and the way they run their access. And it's amazing. So well done. Thank you so much. Uh, any last words before I ask you to say United Against Cancer? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate very much the opportunity. And I would only ask to check check out our website at themaxfoundation.org. And uh, we're always looking for organizations and people to partner with. So I think that that's that's the most important thing together we can really multiply our our impact so i really appreciate very very much all the work you're doing in nigeria i i have not been there for a few years but uh the last time i was there i loved uh, everyone i met so many wonderful people in nigeria uh so i hope to come back to life yes uh, i hope you will come soon and will be to be a delight to host you so before we let you go we're going to ask you to just say with the most passion that you can master united against cancer united against cancer Thank you. Fantastic. All right. well, <laughs> I didn't say you. happy birthday at the beginning, but happy birthday. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so I much. I look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Thank you right. for your we'll time. You All Bye. right. Take care. Have Bye. a nice day. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.